in this third example, we have uh, an example of what we would observe if this section of DNA were tightly linked to whatever phenotype it is that we're studying. Notice that everyone who receives this indicated section of DNA, once again, you know, something in the chromosome, a DNA banding pattern once we do DNA fingerprinting, everyone who receives this section of DNA has the yellow phenotype. We would therefore conclude that a gene involved in the transmission of this trait is located in this region of chromosome 5 in this case. So let's say this were schizophrenia we were studying. We would say that, you know, our study linked schizophrenia to this specific section of chromosome 5. Now, there could be other genes which are involved in schizophrenia. This isn't necessarily the cause in all families, but at least in this family, the variance in the family and who receives uh, the trait of schizophrenia or not seems to match the variance in the family uh, in who receives this specific section of DNA. So in this case, this region of chromosome 5 would be linked to that trait. Thus, this is one way that we can map human genes. We have an idea where a gene is on a chromosome by comparing DNA banding uh, patterns and family trees where traits are identified.